Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody. My name is Dark Sage Walker and I've almost got enough new roguelite games to do an entire week of just, you know, hey, check this cool thing out. And I'm curious as to what you guys think about the proposition, because not only could it be an interesting way to find new things that we could check out, you know, potentially together, but it but I also think we've got ourselves a potential for some real the potential for something really really neat with it. Just you know, nothing fancy. Just here's here's a bunch of new games. Let's try them out, see what we think, and go from there. Honestly, I think it sounds like a good idea, but then again, this is me we're talking about. I'm I'm maybe a little bit of a strange. All right, so today I kind of want to show off a little a little bit of the old shop lockdown. <clears throat> and the best way to do that is to <clears throat> put is to put on spark array, <clears throat> which of course is the shock part of it, and then throw on something that's particularly big damage, which will be which will of course be the lockdown part. You shock them to lock them. And then you bust their faces down with something big and heavy. Problem is, I'm not sure what's big and heavy enough to actually do the job. Honestly, it doesn't have to be anything major, if I'm being fair. Maybe. Um, Furious Tempest could be. It eh, could be good. I don't use this nearly often enough. Then for our basic, we want something nice and reliable. So Frostblade could be good here. I don't again, I don't use it very often. I use Air Spinner too much. Yeah, we're just gonna go Frostblade. Then for our dash, we're gonna take something nice and something in, that has a nice defensive ring to it. And just like that, we've got ourselves a build. But what do we start with? Well, why don't I first go ahead and visit the old visit the old wardrobe? We're gonna put on rule because we're we're wanting this to be a damage build. And then I think because of our basic, we're going to want to run the the where the fuck is it? Ah, there we go. Prono Glove. Alright, we've got ourselves a build here, baby. Now let's go see how well it works. But first, I have to get Nox to cooperate with me here. Oh, and before I even do that... Um, that's player's choice, and... You know, as much as I love the idea that we've got three soundtracks... I can't get enough of Dale North's original compositions, so we're going to switch back to that. Now, take solace in the idea that if I had rolled that while we were already using the regular soundtrack, I would have chosen something else. Because that's only fair. Alright. So some of these, some of the new roguelite games that I've been looking at that have come out very recently, some of them are things that have been out for a couple of months now and, you know, might not seem too crazy to start jumping into. There's probably already an audience forum out there somewhere. We're just going to go and see what happens. God damn, Atlas. You've got to stay out of spot number three. What is wrong with you? All right. It occurs to me that I may have made a mistake by not by not choosing my by not choosing my first my first opponent carefully. But others are games that have really only come out like over. Oh, 
over like say the last couple of days at least as of the time of this recording i see two things here that i want but i also kind of want to wait and see what's what Iris has in store for us. And it's very possible that she might be she might be being helpful. It's a rather low probability, but hey, can't hurt anything to at least look. Please die. I know it's a very rude thing to ask someone just out of the blue, but trust me, it's, it's a question that's been brewing on my mind for a while. By the way, don't just walk up to someone and say that. That's bound to, you know, create issues. Here I am sitting here lining up my charge attack and the enemies are already already goners. But definitely know what you guys think. I've never been against the idea of trying out something new and if it turns out there's some there's some new stuff out there that we all like, then hey, we've got something to check out at least for a few episodes, right? Also, yes, I am painfully aware of the idea that just about every en just about every enemy I'm running into is going to be resisting resisting my build. No, it's not fun. Like I kind of feel like I've got like I got the hardest set of enemies I could possibly have gotten. Well. That's not good. Okay, tell you what, give me the Thunderline upgrade. We're not going to be able to use Dr. Song's services, which is a bit of a bummer. But we can, use, we can use those two things, and that will hopefully help out at least a little bit. Real quick check in with Iris. Uh, don't really know about the vacuum seekers. We're gonna wait and see if anything better comes up. Going into the next floor with 300 gold seems like a reasonable thing to do to me. somehow worked. gonna lie I'm kind of excited about the idea that there's that I can finally uh, find that there are finally new roguelike games out there that I can show off 
Or rather, ones that have come out that really caught my attention, because to be fair, not, there's been some stuff that's come out that I look at and go, eh, I don't know if I care about that. Like, I don't need every action roguelike game that comes out to be like a, to be a co-op game. Uh, something I was thinking about while I was at my job today is that a lot of the ones that I like do have co-op options. For example, Wizard of, <laughs> Wizard of Legend can be played co-op, and that's something that I can keep continually forgetting. Oh, pardon me. It was long-winded. I guess it's. I guess if I'm being honest, what bothers me about the idea of all of these games coming out as co-op games is the idea that if they're marketing it hard as a co-op experience, then it's not gonna play well as a single-player game. And I know a lot of you are going, oh, "Well, no shit, Sherlock. What, what gave you that idea?" <clears throat> But for me, that's a sticking point. If there's some, if it's a game that you like specifically want me to spend all my time playing online, I can't help but draw parallels to the to the boom of these freaking live service games. Most of those do. Most of those have not been panning out well for anyone. Okay, I see things here that I like, namely Flame Fusion. So I'm gonna grab this. Now let's go visit Nocturne. We'll give him Furious Tempest and see if he comes up with some cool stuff for me. Um, I mean, not really. About the most interesting thing here is <clears throat> that Dragon Arc. Everything else is kind of substandard, and even Dragon Arc, I feel kind of iffy about taking it because that's not going to do well with a power based build. So we'll just go ahead and buy that back, and then we'll take Flame Fusion. You know, one of my personal favorites. Hold on. Let's make this easier on myself. And I think that'll be good, because I'd like to hold on to some money for next floor. Alright, well, so far so good. As per usual, I also want to ask you guys, what sorts of games are you interested in, in seeing me play us outside of Wizard of Legend? That's kind of the that's kind of the obvious one at this point. I, I mean, out nicely. And no thanks.
Now, some of the things I know that people have shown interest in is, of course, Hollow Knight, because you can't really talk about indie successful indie games without bringing up Hollow Knight. And to be fair, I love this Hollow Knight. But there's also a lot of people and a lot of channels that over that already focus on Hollow Knight, so it just kind of gives me that feeling of what would I be bringing to the table outside of it just being, you know, me playing Hollow Knight and making, you know, uncouth jokes about spiders. So that's one area that I'm that I've been thinking about is it's not that I want to turn down anyone's desire to see me play Hollow Knight because I love that game. Just on the other hand, I think there are people out there that have kind of already done that, and probably done it better than I did, because there's people who can play Hollow Knight going through the entire game. Probably, I think Damage List I've seen a few people do. There's speedrunners out there that have been playing the game for years. Like, I just don't think I would be able to bring anything new to the table on that regard. Even though I love the game and wouldn't mind playing it at all. So, I don't know. I guess, you know, give me some time to think about that one. Um, I mean, that's not great, but I mean, it's a little bit of extra damage. Don't really need permafrost cube, but at the same time, I could grab that just to, just for a little bit of extra control for one, which I think will be useful in Atlas's stage. Moreover, if I find the hunter stiletto, I can start stacking that shit. Ugh, you guys suck so much. I like the, like, cooldown enhancement, I don't like the double damage, and I have a pretty good idea of what's gonna- Wow, that's a lot of fire. Good lord. <clears throat> I think Iris is trying to tell me something. Now, to answer the obvious question of why haven't I gone back to pick up the Flame Fusion upgrade, there's an odd part of me that's thinking, that's for some reason thinking, oh, I, I better save that to know until I know whether or not I'm going to trade that away. What makes me think it's getting traded away? There's really no reason for that. Alright, so let's grab these two, just one for the extra damage and one for the extra control. Ooh, hello, Sylvan Health. You never turn that down. And of course it's fire-based, because for some reason they just want me to burn the world into the ground. Surely we've all learned that lesson by now. Some people can't be reasoned with, some people can't be negotiated with, some people, they just want to watch the world burn. Um... Okay, well... We're gonna grab that because Hunter's Satchel, even though poison isn't the greatest thing in the world to bring into Atlas's domain.
And once again, if you're wondering why I'm not picking it, why I'm not going uh, going immediately after the surefire rocket, it's mostly because I just want to wait and see what Arcana I can pick up here. Well, there's not a whole lot here that's wind based, but Cascading Blitz will get me a shield if I upgrade it. That I kind of like. Oh yeah, you guys are so slick. See, I complain, but the run is actually going pretty, pretty decently so far. Can't really complain too much. I mean, I could, but fortunately I know what I'm doing. So now seems like a good time to grab this. Basically, more spark arrays means more control. More control means we have a little bit less to worry about. Uh, well. If I haven't taken this time to remind you all that, ni that nitroglycerin barrels suck, here's me doing it again. Nitroglycerin barrels suck. red portal, and I hope it's Nox. And it is, but does he have anything I really want? The answer is... eh, kinda. Lose gold every time I'm hit. You know what? I can, I can live with that. Plus, it also gives me a little bit more to work with with the Curse Eater's Vest. That's always nice. Well, that didn't work out. Now time to put up with him. Time to put up with Mr. Scumbag and his stupid Earth Knights. Well, there goes all my money because everything here is doing multiple hits.
more importantly, a huge chunk of my health taken off just in one room. I'm trying my best not to get myself locked down by these guys, but easier said than done, not gonna lie. This is the part of the run where I kind of need a little bit of serious time, because the Atlas at stage 3 always makes me a little nervous, especially when my run very heavily revolves around the use of, the use of projectiles. See what I mean? Yeah, let's, let's not mince words. I'm probably in big trouble. over here. Once again, things that are probably a little bit too spicy for my current situation, so let's not. Um, we're gonna take that, and we're gonna take the potion. Okay, one stage down. We just need to make it through another another armored hell pit. And let's assume that I do win this run. That doesn't mean that I stop being afraid of Atlas and his goons. It just it just means I'm getting a little bit better at fighting them, that's all. Considering that I'm going to be having a hard time with cash because of the armor of greed, give me that. Even though I probably should have taken the mercenary's dagger, but if I run out of money, then my damage goes down by quite a bit, and well, nobody got time for that. Breezy gray canvas. I like that. I like it better than this anyway. So away you go. And we're gonna take that.
Yep, that's what I thought would happen. The moment one of them gets you in one of their traps, that's pretty much the end of the run. I mean, not always necessarily with a normal run, but when you're running Retro Floor Plan, yeah, that's, that's generally what happens, is if you're not playing absolutely perfectly, you're probably dead, so... Yeah, probably should have just rolled Atlas first and just gone that way, but I was I was riding high and paid the price for it. But let me know what you guys think of me showing off some new some new stuff to the stage. Cause I like I said, I have enough roguelikes where I could probably do just a full week of of new games to see what we think of them. And then just go from there. Sounds like a good time to me. What do you guys think? Obviously, I would like you to let me know in com in the comments or on or over on my Discord page if you're feeling up to it. I don't know if Twitter is still broken or not. Even still, I'm just kind of not using it because, frankly, screw that dude. But that's about all I've got for right now. So thank you guys very much for watching and <clears throat> continuing to support me. I appreciate you coming to spend your free time with me and all of the love and camaraderie you've given me especially as especially just recently as i've been kind of fluctuating up and down in my mental health i hope you're having a fantastic day or night wherever you may happen to be and i will catch you in the next one my name is dark sage walker and take care everybody